This is the Gioni eLife S5.1 and it is one of the world's thinnest phones. This is 5.1 millimeters thick, that's 0.4 of a millimeter thinner than the eLife S5.5, one of the previous holders of the world's thinnest smartphone record. Now there have been others recently made from Oppo and made from various other manufacturers who've pretty much maxed and sometimes exceeded the, uh, the, the slimness of this particular phone, but it is unbelievably thin. It's also really light. Um, it actually disappears when it's in your pocket. In your hand, it can feel it can feel like it's not there and it's a bit disconcerting, especially if you're used to a, a modern, heavier smartphone with a bigger screen. This can actually feel as if it's gonna fall out of your hand. Quite disconcerting for a while. The screen you can see is 4.8 inches. And the good thing this, when compare, in comparison to the uh, S5.5, is that Gioni have flattened out the camera lens. It's stuck out on the S5.5, but now it's flush. There is a slight sacrifice in that it's now an 8 megapixel camera, uh, which is fine. Now, the phone runs Android 4.4 and uses Gioni's own user interface over the top. It's like Huawei's effort, so uh, there's no app draw. It's just apps all across home screens. Now, the one problem with this phone we found with performance is it uses MediaTek's octa-core uh, processor. But it only has one gigabyte of RAM and it can slow it down quite considerably. We didn't find too many problems playing games. We used uh, Angry Birds Transformers and it seemed to handle it fine. But under some situations it did get a bit creaky and it does take its time to open some apps. A bit annoying and we would have found two gigabytes of RAM probably would have suited that processor better. We also had trouble with the camera. Something that we found on the eLife S5.5. The standard camera takes some time to take a picture. Now if we take a picture now, processing, processing, and there we go, we've taken a picture. That's unacceptably long. However, if you use Gioni's own Charm Cam app, which comes with all sorts of different uh, tools for making uh, cool pictures, if you take a photo with this, it takes it instantly. So the thing to use is that app rather than the, uh, the standard one. Uh, an unusual uh, situation. Now just to give you an idea of how thin this is, there it is in comparison to an iPhone 5S, so super thin. We also have, certainly for the market that this phone is aimed at, this is the Xiaomi uh, Redmi Note and you can see there, there is a considerable difference between the sort of nine and a half millimeter thick Xiaomi phone to the super thin Gioni. This is a Gorilla Glass rear panel, Gorilla Glass front, it's an, a, a metal frame. It really is beautifully built. There's no question at all this is a premium feeling smartphone. We really, really like the look and really love the build quality. It's solid as a rock too. There's no flex and no bend. It really is a beautifully made smartphone. That is a quick look at the Gioni eLife S5.1.